Okay, today we are again looking into linear maps between vector spaces V and W, and these are K vector spaces. So K is a field, for example, the real numbers or the racial numbers, and we are looking into the image of phi, which is defined as all vectors inside W we can obtain by applying our linear map phi on all elements V of the vector space big V. So everything we can receive by putting in all the vectors we have from our starting vector space V. So this obviously is always a subset of W because our map phi maps from V to W. So everything we receive is always part of W. So the whole set is also a subset of W. And we can ask ourselves whether similar to the kernel we have seen in the last video, whether this image is also a subspace of W. So if you haven't seen the last video where we looked at the kernel and proved that the kernel is a subspace, please go watch it. It's also very, very valuable. And now we are proving that the image is also a subspace. So first again, the image is not empty because for example, zero is part of the image of phi since phi maps zero to zero. And in the last video, we proved why this is the case for all linear maps. So all linear maps are mapping zero to zero. So you can watch the last video and see why this is true. So secondly, uh, let's take two vectors w1 and w2 from the image. And we want to show that the image is then closed under addition of vectors. Because w1 and w2 are part of the image, we know there exist v1 and v2 such that phi of v1 equals w1 and phi of v2 equals w2. So this is clear because they are both part of the image and there are pre-images inside V of these two vectors w1 and w2. And now we want to prove that the sum has also pre-image inside V. This, 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 because this means that the sum is also part of the image. So let's take a look at w1 plus w2. This is per definition phi of v1 plus phi of uh, v2. And because we have a linear map phi, phi is linear. We can pull phi out. And then we have phi of v1 plus v2. So phi maps v1 plus v2 to w1 plus w2 because phi is linear. So this means w1 plus w2 has a pre-image. Pre-image inside v. Hence w1 plus w2 is an element of the image of phi. So this proves that the image is closed under addition because we have taken two vectors from the image and showed that the sum is also part of the image. And the third point, let's take a scalar from the field K and a vector from the image W. We want to show that the image is closed under scalar modification, meaning lambda times W is also part of the image. So let's see, lambda times W equals lambda times phi applied on some vector v because w is part of the image. So there's a pre-image under phi and this v from the vector space v exists. And because phi is linear, we can put in lambda. So we have phi applied on lambda times v. And this means lambda v has a pre-image, has a pre-image. Or 
can say it like this, lambda times v is mapped to lambda w under phi. So lambda w is an element of the image, meaning the image is also closed under scalar multiplication. So we have proven that the image is not empty, it contains always zero at least. It is closed under addition and closed under scalar multiplication. So I hope this video was useful to you. If you haven't seen the other video related to the kernel, please go watch it. There we have proven that the kernel is also a subspace of V in this case. Thank you and see you next time.